Must dance or die. Dance or die. First time I've ever seen this. And I will say, I don't know what happened. <laughs> but I know there were drugs and there was dancing. And by the end, there was like this full on choreographed flash dance sequence, people all in white and eighties shades getting shot and continuing to dance while another guy was running away from villains being shot at. And I think it was supposed to be really stylish, but it ended up just looking very confusing and, and dumb. But I do think my favorite part of the movie was the dialogue of the guy realizing a woman had a turtle tattooed on her back and this was significant somehow. And he was shouting, what's on your back? And she said, I got a tattoo of a turtle. And he said, and she said, or he was like, why, why a turtle? And he was all pissed off about it. And she said something like, because I like turtles, fuck you. <laughs> I like turtles. That's not good enough. Then go. Fuck yourself. And that was pretty good dialogue. That was some real Hamlet right there. But the uh, the synopsis says, Jason is trying to kick cocaine and choreograph a dance concert. Things go from bad to worse when the turtle gets involved. <laughs> so... I guess the mark of the turtle was an uh, ominous foreboding signal to him. But, you know, if you like movies about cocaine and guns and dancing, and you like 80s movies with shitty soundtracking and the kind of shitty soundtracking that works the title into a track that's made specifically for the movie, this is your movie. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a 